Welcome to injector cleaning. Uh, my way, I guess. I did some research on the net, found that this was an interesting way, or something like this was an interesting way to clean injectors. These injectors are off of the Honda Civic VX over there. I just cleaned the, the spot where they go in the top of the intake manifold pretty well from the top side. I gotta take it off and clean the whole thing sometime, but not today. Um, anyhow, like if you can see here, I've got a uh, an old car battery over here providing me with 12 volts via the jumper cables to right here. A bit of a fire hazard, we get some sparks, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I get the positive lead hooked up to one of the wires and I just pulse on and off the, the ground. Um, and I try to do it much like a, if you look in the hose there, you can see there's some liquid in there right now. That's actually being held by the by the injector itself. I've just done some vacuum on it. So this is a one-man brake bleeder here. The black tube goes over to my vacuum. Happens to be a Kirby, which is pretty heavy-duty vacuum. Um, works well for this purpose. So I cycle it on and off, and I also cycle the injector on and off. Sometimes I just let it run with it on full open for a while, but of course they're made to pulse, so they get hot if you let them run too long wide open. Um, but it's a solenoid, I believe, activated and uh, doesn't like to be held open too long. The, the, if you take it out of the fuel or don't have the vacuum going, it gets hot fast because the, the fuel injector cleaner, which I'm using on the right there, cools it down as it's cleaning. But uh, this is pretty much it. Um, I judge how clean it is by how fast the fluid is uh, flowing through this clear hose here. After I do a couple of cycles on each of them, they're usually running all about the same speed. Uh, back there I've got some injectors from a parts car. What I usually tend to do is do six or so of them and or sometimes I'll do them all and uh, whichever ones flow the fastest is the ones that I keep. I also take the uh, this is an old injector from the other car that uh, you can see it's pretty nasty. The end, This one actually on the inside of the end is kind of clean. Over here there's some that aren't so clean. That one's not too bad either but I usually take the uh, take a Q-tip and clean out the inside of this guy with uh, some injector cleaner. Obviously, clean up the case on the outside. Um, replace the gaskets. These little screens that go on the top of them usually get a little a little crudded up. You can't really see real well on the inside of this guy. This one's pretty clean, but I use the spray to clean those out and uh, grab some new gaskets from the store little thing of, uh, I usually use um, Vaseline or some other sort of, um, I think that's what I actually do use, is, yeah, petroleum jelly, the Hannaford version, um, for uh, re uh, rub on those gaskets when I put them back together so they go back together and have a less likelihood of leaking. Um, that's it for now. Uh, oh, and you can tell, by the way, when I do this, I don't know if you can hear that in the video or not, but... You can hear the injector clicking on and off. Seems to get pronounced louder um, the cleaner it is. I think that's because it's going, the valve is actually opening farther. Um, that's just a guess. But uh, anyway, that's that. Wanted to give a heads up on uh, how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way to do it or if it's a good way to do it, but it definitely smooths out the idle. I did this on, a, on my Volvo wagon uh, not too long ago, and it was pretty incredible how, how much different the car ran how much smoother it was so i'm guessing you know that helps power and fuel economy so that's all for now